to do with grandma. Yeah, she was the first person to meet him, other than like, the people that were at the hospital with me. She met him before my grandma did. That's why she's the backup grandma. I'm the backup grandma. Their friendship formed over coffee and grew stronger over meetings at Hubie's Diner. But they wouldn't know each other if Samantha Watson didn't have trouble finishing her final year of high school. When her classmates graduated, Samantha was just a few credits short. I remember opening up my the results and I bawled my face off. It was embarrassing. Like, I get to walk across the stage, I was on track, and then, nope, it all just gets ripped away and it's like, that sucks. Even though she was now out of high school, Red Deer Public Schools was still working on Samantha's behalf. We have an individual who we hire who's a remarkable person uh, who, whose entire work is dedicated to uh, reaching out to those young people and helping them figure out the path to a high school diploma. Samantha would get a phone call from Sharon Schultz, who would tell her about Finish Line, a program for students who've fallen just short of achieving their diploma. Samantha is a young girl who, from the first time I met her, was just an endearing young lady. We connected at her school and continued to work for over two years together. It was only a few credits, but it would be a struggle post high school life without a diploma was difficult. I'd gotten fired from a job and I was fighting with my, I had moved back in with my parents and I was fighting with my parents and my, I had been separated from my partner. Everything was just falling apart all at once. <laughs> in the midst of these struggles, Finish Line would prove to be a rock of support. Red Republic hasn't given up. And, and you're not going to give up on me and we're going to make this happen. The whole purpose of a program like Finish Line is to have an individual who will connect on a very personal level uh, with a student and, it, and bring them back into the fold and say, we care about you and we do notice. Don't lose Jeff. Finish Line gave me an opportunity to be an example to my children. That was, my, I think, my main goal. Was to get this to prove to my children that like, like it's, school is very important and it's really hard but you have to stick to it. It is essential for any kind of work uh, that you want to do today uh, to have that minimum of a high school diploma and we take uh, the responsibility for each and every one of those young people very seriously and uh, feel very responsible to do everything in our power to help them attain that credential. Through Finish Line, Sharon Schultz is working with 71 students this year. We'll meet in the evenings, we'll meet uh, on a weekend, we'll meet wherever it works for them. It's playing the counselor role, it's playing the mother role, it's playing the role of, of Red Deer Public and, and what they stand for and encouraging them and saying we're, we're not giving up. The more students that can cross that stage, that can wear the, the cap and gown, that, that can graduate, the better we are as a community. It's allowing students to achieve their full potential. It's allowing our community to achieve their full potential. The light at the end of the tunnel. For those with diplomas, there are plenty of opportunities for good careers in central Alberta. There's thousands of temporary foreign workers here. Um, and businesses, they don't want to use temporary foreign workers. They want to hire local people. The businesses, they need these people. They need these kids to fill these jobs. And the kids need to have rewarding careers. So I think it's a perfect match. Every individual student that we can help to attain a high school diploma provides incredible life opportunities for that student. Sam's a huge success story in never giving up and a tremendous positive attitude. I want to say thank you so much. Um, you've given me so much. Everyone needs to know that you can do it and don't give up. If she had just given up on me, I wouldn't be here. So I didn't give up on her and she didn't give up on me and together we got it done. And I want this program to be around for a very long time.
had an opportunity to do something great. And I did it. And I am very proud of myself.